Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. So this is a problem from the DC circuits. So here the given circuit is a DC circuit. So here two sources are there. So one is voltage source, another is current source, and there is four resistors are there. So like this connected. Now asking that how to find current I that was flowing through four ohm resistor by using source transformation technique. This is the problem. First of all, recall what is source transformation. Source transformation is nothing but converting from one source to another source. So in this way, we are going to solve the circuit. That means from current to voltage source or voltage to current source. So like this, we are going to convert the circuit. So in this way, we are going to solve the components. So let's see here. Whenever the voltage is connected in a resistor in series. So at that time, how can you replace means? Means how can you convert into current source means? So like this. Suppose this is a voltage V connected with resistor R. So at that time, the current will be according to Ohm's law V equal to IR. So current I equal to V by R. So this is the current here. Key positions are still no change. This is the process of converting voltage to current. Suppose current is there, means this circuit is there. Next, how to convert into the voltage? So let's see here. Suppose we have current I is there, that was parallel with the resistor R. So then it was replaced with a voltage source. So resistance is same, there is no change. Next, so what is the voltage means? According to Ohm's law, we know that V equal to IR. So this is I into R it gives voltage that is V here that is V equal to IR. Now come to the problem here current was parallel with resistor and voltage in series with the resistor. Now I am going to convert this current source to voltage and this voltage source as current source. So keep these two resistors as it is so that is so this 5 ohm resistor as it is and this 4 ohm resistor as it is don't change the positions this 4 ohms and this is 5 ohms next in the left side current is parallel with the resistor so convert this into the voltage source so at the time resistor is resistor only so here it becomes in series that is 5 ohms this is current I and this is R so voltage equal to V into IR that means 2 into 5 that is 10 so voltage is 10 volts so here the current action is downside is there so wherever the arrow mark is towards take that is as plus sign so this is plus sign this is minus sign so plus here minus here next come to here here voltage to current voltage to current so at the time this resistor will come into parallel so 10 ohms will come into parallel now voltage become current so plus sign is here so that's why take the current upward direction now the current is according to ohms law v equal to ir so i equal to v by r and here v is 20 volts 20 by resistance is 10 ohms it becomes 2 amperes though the current is 2 amperes now here here 5 ohms 5 ohms both are in series now replace with a single resistor so whenever resistors are in series the overall resistance is sum of the resistance values so 5 plus 5 nothing but 10 ohms now here keep the this current source as it is don't change it so these three elements keep as it is. Now change this voltage source into current source. So whenever voltage to current means the resistor will come into parallel. So 10 ohms. Now remaining keep as it is. So that is 4 ohms resistor in parallel with 10 ohm resistor in parallel with current source that is 2 amperes now here what is current 
so current direction is down side so the current direction is down side so according to ohm's law v equal to ir so i equal to v by r and here v is 10 volts and r is 10 ohms so 10 by 10 nothing but 1 ampere here we want the current current i in four resistor means in this resistor the current direction is down side so this is the current direction that is i we want so here all the components are parallel with the currents so first of all here 10 ohm resistor 10 ohm resistor is there so make into as a single resistor means this two resistor in parallel so whenever two resistors are in parallel the resistance equal to r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 or we can write as 1 by r equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so just i am finding the overall resistance for these two resistors which are in parallel so keep this current sources and this four resistors as it is don't change it so it becomes the current source so current was keep as 1 ampere and this four ohm resistor keep as has no change so this is the current direction so that is capital i and the current is here 2 amperes now this is the resistance for 10 ohm resistor in uh, both are in parallel the equivalent is 5 ohms so just substitute here in this value we will get r equal to 10 into 10 by 10 plus 10 20 so you will cancel to ones to fives so r equal to means overall resistance for these two resistors are 5 ohms now here we can easily find current i which was flowing through four ohms by applying the current division rule so observe carefully here so here at this node two amperes was entering and one ampere was leaving okay so here two resistors are there which are in parallel so the overall current will be two amperes minus one ampere means what is one ampere current is there so in that i am going to find current i in four ohms means so take the opposite resistance that is five ohms by total resistance that is 5 ohms plus 4 ohms into total current that is 2 amperes minus 1 ampere because both are in opposite direction so it gives the current i in 4 ohms so 2 amperes minus 1 ampere but only 1 ampere so 1 into anything that is only so 5 by we have 5 plus 4 nothing but 9 it is but 5 by 9 so current i equal to 5 by 9 So by simplifying this, we we'll get 35.5 milliamperes. So this is the current in the given circuit, which is flowing through four ohm resistor. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.